Francis shunt. Or one way of tying the Francis shunt. Uh, there's many ways of getting this hackle. Some like it up the body, some just like it at the back. Basically it's entirely up to yourself. But Now I'm going to tie the red Francis. Now a couple of tubes I said, this is one inch. Gives you the weight to present the fly. You can use a plastic tube and add lead to it. I mean, I know that the Francis, the shrimp it's still, it's very good tied on trebles and doubles as well. Uh, and fished as a standard, the normal way you would fish a present a salmon fly. But basically, uh, this is uh, how most tie it on the bigger tubes, on the heavier tubes. Now I'm using a black thread, a 6 -oh thread. Just basically close touching turns. Run it down the length of the tube. Now I'm using a, an HMH tube holder. Uh, basically this clamps onto the vise here and then I tighten onto the tube here. It's a very easy and great tube, um, uh, what do you call it, tool to use for holding the tubes. It's one of the best I've got. Now basically you need four brown and two white stems that represent the, the feelers of the, the shrimp. And all you really got to do is tear away on each side all the fluff, all the fibres, take it away and then cut away the tip. Now you do that, I put six on, four brown and two white. Now I've got the four here, four of the brown. There's your legs there, or the feelers. I mean, what you really want to do is spread them round the hook. Now I usually put two on at a time. Lengthwise, I mean at least two and a half, three inches on this size. Two on my side. Two on the other side. Just to hold. You can actually place these better once you're finished. I usually like to Curl them with my fingers to get them to come away from the tube, just like that. Trim away, don't trim it away up here, trim it further down. Because you want to bulk up the body of this. And here's your two white. You can have these, one on each side. Catch one on the side, one there. And one there. So just tidy up. Tie these down. Now I stagger the cuts here with, with these. Helps to form a taper in the body and you want that carrot shape. Now basically what you can do is quickly run up and down binding these in so they don't catch anything when you've got to tie something else in. Run it back up to this point here. Now I've got some dyed. This is calf tail. Now it's a, this one's Nice ginger. Take off what you need. I must you need enough to go roll all the way around. So you sit on. Now basically there's gonna be a sleeve tied in this area here, or slide slide you're gonna slide it up. This holds the uh, the treble straight or the double or whatever you're using. And basically I like this at the end of the, the plastic sleeve which is here. I'll show you. That's slipped up on there, and then this comes to the back. And that's the length I like. So there's my length. Now I'd basically take the thread up a wee bit. It's much easier to roll these fibres round the tube if it's further away, as long as you've got the right length. Two or three turns to hold. Now I get the tip of the so those just to come round with the, the rest. As you see, it's all the way around. And just tighten up. Now I would take your thread right back down to where you've tied in your feelers, and that's your length there. Now I like to cut these at an angle like this, all the way up, and again bind them down before you do anything else, and then come back up. Now We've got the red, this is just basically red wool. This is going to form 
the heavier part of the body. Just now, I separate that from the main. It's really forming like a thorax, really. And it's there. Now, the way I do it is just to wind down. One, two, three. Crisscross the wheel, like this. And then bring it to the front. And then concentrate really and tying it off. Keep it really tight. I like to do this because it separates the materials and feel as I feel that portions of fly much better. Trim that away. Now the option is here this this is a saddle hackle, a natural red. Just pull away what you don't need. Tighten by the close to the tip and fold this back. I usually like to fold this back, stops it pulling out. Break it away. Now you could either like what I'm going to do here is just form a hackle, some legs. Forming the taper of the legs or tapering the actual shape of the fly. You only need maybe a turn, a couple of turns. And across. Now what I was saying that you could actually either wait and form the second part of the body and take it up. It's up to you what way you want to do it. Just make sure that's just tied down. Tied it up. Don't go any further than this point here because you want it to form this taper. Now, in the way back, I like to tie in the rib. Now, it's a gold oval tinsel, a large, and again, get some red wool. Now, you see, I'm going to tie it up here. This is going to help form the taper. You're encouraging the shape that you want into the fly. It's that carrot shape. Take your thread back down quick as you can and then basically just come round here nice and tight touch and turns, wind your wool all the way up to this point here cross your thread nice and tight put a few turns in there before you do anything else trim away your waist and I like to tidy up first before doing anything else as well Take it up and bring your rib up all the way to this point here. Just bring your thread up the side of it and put a 90 degree bend in. This helps or stops it pulling back or coming loose. Trim away your waist, form your head using the thread. Nice and tight, straight in with a finish. Now basically what I like to do now is put the sleeve on first before I do anything else. Now to get it off this wee holder is just to loosen it at the bottom here. Now get the tubing, pull it back, just put a bit of moisture on it, slide your sleeve well in, all the way up. This pushes the legs out, all the way around. You can put a curve with your nail, forcing these fibres away from the tube, which helps more movement into the fly. And basically all you have to do now is varnish it. All the way around. A couple of coats of varnish. And then the job is done. Now, the way I like to dry my tubes is I've got some small pins through a card. Here they are. And then what I do is I just simply put it on like this. A couple of coats later, and that's it. And basically, that's your Francis.